literally just got this package yesterday and I wanted to try with you guys. This is Magic Minds Productivity Shot. So it's supposed to help boost your productivity through this one single shot. These are the ingredients and what it does for you. So for focus, for energy, and for less stress. This isn't sponsored at all. They just sent it to me to try. Usually shots like these taste really, really bad because they're supposed to be healthy for you. So we're going to see if it tastes okay. They sent me an entire box. It has 15 of these productivity shots. This has organic matcha green tea. Organic agave, passion fruit, natural vanilla, red beet, and potassium sorbet. Mm. Wait, it smells really good. It has like a weird bitter aftertaste, but it wasn't that bad. I know the clock says like it's 12 p.m. but that clock is like stuck at the wrong time and I don't have the remote so that's why I can't fix it but at this point it was around like 9 30 and I usually clock in around this time so I brought up my breakfast to eat while I checked my emails and also responded to some of the slack messages I really like to drink a glass of water before I start to do anything because I'm really dehydrated after I wake up and within this time I do a lot of like the busy work so I respond to social media comments dms I looked at the tags and I try to generate some ideas of what I'm going to be creating today. I really like to use a planner because I am a type A person so I really need to see everything that I have to do scheduled down to like basically the minute. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Tuesday, January 30th, and I am about to batch film some videos for work because if you guys didn't know, or if you guys are new here, I currently work for a firm as a content marketing intern. Part of my job is to create content for them, so I like to batch film on either Mondays or Tuesdays. Today is a Tuesday, so I'm gonna batch film a few videos so that way I could edit and post them throughout the week i don't have to like constantly film every single day i can just like get the week's worth of work done in one day and it makes my life a lot easier so we're gonna do that i already have some videos conceptualized so everything is good i use a super long tripod to put my phone on it goes to like seven feet tall or something like that or like 75 inches something i think it's seven feet tall but it's a really really long tripod because i have to film above my head since we are like a notes app company so we're trying to showcase writing on an ipad so the best view is like from the top or from the side so i got a really super long one Reds are fifty percent off after six. I'm getting lunch with my dad. 
cafe it is currently 5 27 and i have a dance class tonight at 7 p.m so i'm going to take the train soon to the city and i'm super excited because i haven't danced in like a week which seems pretty short but i've just been stuck at home all day so i'm really dying to go out and like see different scenery i did some graphic design at the cafe which is technically not part of my like job description because i'm doing their marketing but since it ties in with like content creation, I was just like playing around with like different post ideas. I think it's really cool that I get to play around with like different facets of like marketing and like the intersection between it and graphic design. It's like something I'm interested in. So anyways, I'm going to get changed and then we're going to head out soon because my train is in like 20 minutes. So. <laughs> After a shower, I love turning down my lights and using the lamp instead. I've decided to hop onto the Anne Honey bandwagon and honestly, it is so good. Like, it makes my hair feel so silky and it smells really, really good. If you guys are on the edge of like thinking of buying it, I would honestly just say to just buy it. Like, it's it's worth the hype. Like, I understand why everyone is hyped about it this now. I'm going to use it because I just washed my hair and I use the mask in the shower as well. I bought this a while back and I haven't used it so I'm going to use this for the first time today and I think the last time I used a whitening strip was like back in middle school. I remember when I did these like a long time ago, it was really nasty tasting. It was also really hard to put on. I remember I would cut this in half because I didn't need to fold it in the back and that way I can like use more so I'm gonna do that. I put on teeth whitening strips and I have to wait 30 minutes so I'm gonna show you guys my recent obsession that I have been actually obsessed with for the past week. I have been so obsessed with Animal Crossing. I think I played over 50 hours. I have no life but this is what happens when you work remote guys like sometimes you just have to go back into your like childish days and play games. And honestly, it's not even childish. I don't know what I'm saying. This game is the best game ever. This game is literally so therapeutic. Like, I remember during quarantine when I was first, like, obsessed with this game. I, like, played so many hours. I just remember I just played it so much. And then I lent my Nintendo Switch to my brothers. And they broke it. So I couldn't play. And I kind of forgot about the game. Until recently when... I've been like really into jazz nowadays and my YouTube now is like curated jazz playlist. They had like an Animal Crossing theme one and I watched it and it brought back so much nostalgia. So I purchased it and I'm borrowing my brother's Nintendo right now. And when I logged into my Nintendo account, I actually still had Animal Crossing like downloaded and I didn't know that because I didn't have the physical like game chip with me. So I thought I couldn't play, but apparently it was already downloaded, so I have two of them now, which I guess is not bad, but I don't know what to do with the other one. Peaches is literally sleeping right now. She doesn't want to see you guys. Let's see if Eric is home. Eric is one of the cute ones that I have, and he is a deer. Bruh, he's also sleeping. Okay, whatever. They also gave me two default players. Sheldon is the hamster, and he's pretty cute. He's like really small and like kind of chunky. And then the other one is a cat, which is 
not that cute. This is my favorite way to end the night. Like I literally like look forward to this so much after work. Mm -hmm.